So today we're going to take a look at my portable power and charging kit as well as a few new products from Anchor. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Living Survival. Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival. Today we're going to take a look at an all new product from Anchor. This is the PowerCore 10,000. It's a very small USB charger, perfect for little kits. We're going to take a look at that. We're also going to take a look at some of the other Anchor products that I have to complete a full charging kit, perfect for survival prepping outdoors, anywhere you need to charge a USB device. So the PowerCore 10,000 has 10,000 milliamps. It's a lot for something the size of a deck of, a deck of cards. Press the button on the side that's going to give you a capacity. Uh, about 75% here you can charge a single USB device and then you also have your micro input there It's got the power IQ technology, which is going to auto sense the device It's got voltage boost, so it's going to take advantage of the incoming or outgoing Voltage so that make sure that it charges your device uh, At a steady rate now we can compare this to the power core plus which uh, is just a little bit bigger. I believe this one's 10,050 milliamps. The main difference is this one will do USB-C, which is the up and coming, uh, you know, new USB cable. If you want to check out that review, you can go back a couple videos. And then this one also has the Qualcomm Quick Charge, so it charges a little bit faster. Both have, I believe, a 2.4 amp output, so you're going to be able to charge tablets and things like that with ease with these Anchor power banks. Now Anchor makes a whole bunch of products. I've reviewed a whole bunch of their products and you can use these products to complete a power kit, a portable power kit, which is pretty much what I've done. You can see I have the larger version of the power core. This is like a 20,000, I believe. It's about twice the size of the 10,000. So two different sizes you can get there, both the same, have the power uh, IQ and the voltage boost. And then we have the two USB-C. These are uh, the ones that will support USB-C and these have Qualcomm. Now you do have to have a Qualcomm charger to be able to charge these fast, but these will charge your devices a little bit faster than the standard power core. So power core, power core plus. And then they have power ports, which are awesome for keeping at home. I keep one of these plugged in all the time at home. You can see they just have uh, USB output. So it's basically like a battery bank that you keep charged or plugged into the wall. It doesn't have any capacity, but it will charge your devices very fast. Again, we have the uh, plus model with the USB-C there. And you can also get one of these power ports in a, uh, a little travel size like this, which is awesome. It's got two USBs, same technology built in, a little foldable uh, outlet here. Just go ahead and plug that in the wall and you can take this with you on the go. So to build an awesome kit, you can have a solar panel that can keep these guys charged in, emer in an emergency. Uh, this anchor makes some great solar panels. And then you can have a battery bank obviously to store that power during the day. Use it at night to uh, to um, charge up your devices, whether it be a cell phone, a GPS, a flashlight, all sorts of things you can do with uh, USB. Everything these days takes it. And then I even extend my kit here with the ability to plug into a 12 volt source using this little uh, um, 12 volt charger from Anchor. And then as I just showed you, the little power port here that can plug into the wall. So, you know, I can build a small kit with uh, just one of these guys, a solar panel, and then these two items here and then some cables and I'm good to go no matter what I need to charge, no matter what option I have for charging, whether it be a vehicle, an airport, you know, a, uh, a wall outlet somewhere, or if I have to rely on my solar panel and my battery bank, I can do that as well. Another thing that's very cool and very handy about these power banks is that you can use them to charge devices like this USB rechargeable flashlight. So what's cool about that is not only can you charge the flashlight, but it's essentially an 18650 charger. So you can pop out the 18650, throw another one in there, and then continue to charge your batteries that way using this as the charger. You can do the same thing with AA batteries in something like this shortwave radio that takes USB. I can charge the rechargeable uh, nickel metal hydrate up using the, pet, the, uh, the power bank or a solar panel and then take those batteries out, use them in something like a headlamp, put other rechargeables in here and charge them again. So you can essentially use your devices as chargers, which is really cool for your kits. Anchor products are a big part of my overall portable power kit. 
this would be an example of something that I would uh, put in a in a bag, for example, or a kit or in my get home bag. I have the ability to charge pretty much any device, any battery uh, with this kit. So I got the solar panel. I can use that in an emergency just to top off my battery bank or directly top off something like a cell phone or a flashlight. As I said, you can use a rechargeable flashlight to keep your 18650s or whatever battery it takes. Uh, this one takes a 14500, I believe. So you could use that. Um, if it was rechargeable, you could use that to keep that charged. I have a bunch of different cables here, micro USB, mini USB, um, iPhone, you know, small, big cables, things like that. It's important to have all the cables. I've got a little charger here. This is the X-Star uh, MC1 Plus. This will also charge 18650s, CR123s or RCR123s, uh, 16340s, um, 14500s. This will charge all those different um, lithium ion batteries. So that's a cool thing to have. Then I have this little Goal Zero charger that will charge double uh, A's and triple A's. As I said, you could use something like my shortwave radio that has USB charging to put in three batteries, charge them, swap it out for three more batteries, charge them. So you can use the actual device as a charger, which is pretty cool. But uh, in here, I just have some rechargeable double A's and triple A's. I use the, uh, the Eneloop Pros, and then I just have some Goal Zero batteries that came with my little Goal Zero charger here, but usually I use the little Enel loops. So I'll use those in headlamps, for example, that aren't USB rechargeable. And then to round out your kit, you can have something like this 12 volt adapter for a car or this uh, wall outlet that'll keep your devices charged that way as well. So you can see it's not a very large package. So I can throw all this stuff into a small little bag and with the, uh, the addition of the Anchor solar panel there, you have a pretty complete portable power kit that you can use to keep charged on the go. So I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me. I hope you leave me some comments below. I hope you share this video to your friends and family who might be interested on social media, especially when it comes to the USB charging. Everyone's got a device that they have wanted to charge on the go, and now you can do it with some of these Anchor products. If you wanna follow me on my social media, all my links are in the description of every video, and there's also that red subscribe button down there. Make sure you click it and subscribe for more videos.